It's Thursday, we're almost there. It's almost the weekend. Let's jump in. Right, now saying it's almost the weekend, we need to just hold on enough to make sure that you don't have a drink before you turn up to work. We have a pilot here who was arrested after turning up to fly the plane completely fucking wasted. It caused the plane to have to be cancelled at the last minute. Oh, the pilot doesn't work. I'm not actually drunk and I can prove it. I blew beneath the legal limit just this morning. We've got these neighbours kicking off. Apparently they can't use their own driveways because of new speed bumps and an island built outside their homes. I've looked at the pictures and I've, I've circled some red bits on there. It doesn't interfere with their drop curbs at all. So stop fucking complaining. Shut up. I wish to make it complete. We've got more eco-vandals who think that they're so fucking important that they can go around slashing tires and putting lentils in tires to deflate them. How about we make foie gras out of you lot? Bus wankers! Speaking of animals, again we covered a story earlier this week about a student that said they identify as a cat. Well, well now the school allows the pupils to identify as whatever animal they want to. They're identifying as horses, cats, dinosaurs, and actually communicating with each other, making animal noises. We need to stop this. We are really fucking kids up. Stop. Completely ridiculous. Speaking of fucking around with kids, this mum in a cheerleader outfit thought it was a good idea to join a school brawl and beat somebody with a rolling pin. Have these people got no shame? It's a fucking rolling pin. Who are you, Franny Craddock? Speaking of shameless idiots, The Sun's conducted a poll and it shows how clueless MPs are in regards to the net fucking zero policies. There's a couple of the polls showing how out of touch these bellends are. They're just all a bunch of wolves in sheep's clothing. Are you bitches blind or something? And speaking of that, we have this sheep farmer who threw his wife to the ground and poured beer on her because she wanted to go away on a girl's holiday during their lambing season. Ooh. You're hard. Now, I'm not going to say I told you so, but... I told you so. People don't want to be harassed with these culture politics. Wix that we covered earlier on, customers have already started voting with their feet. Take note, companies. They out of politics. Why don't you shut the fuck up? Nobody here wants to listen to your misguided bullshit. More people that throw shit in people's faces are vegans. The chef's had enough, and he's told them the hill can all fuck off, and they're banned from his restaurant. More people that can fuck off is Mizzy. He's back at it again, breaking into people's houses. This time he got chased by a dog. I really wish that dog caught up with him. It's okay, soon, soon. You are in for a treat. These people actually did fuck off without paying their 215 pound bill at a restaurant. They pretended to go outside for a cigarette and never came back. I hope that a lot of restaurants around the area will see these pictures and make sure that they are never allowed in their restaurants. <laughs> Fucking this fucking creepy woman, adult star, OnlyFans loser, kissed a thousand of her fans at a show, which is gross enough, while she had COVID. Fucking deplorable human being. What a fucking bitch, am I right? <laughs> they say smoking kills. Well, it almost did for this mum, who somersaulted 12 foot after going outside for a cigarette. It's time to stop! You really just can't joke around with people anymore because people seriously just can't take any sort of joke. This man has, has, has been arrested for stabbing someone eight times with a 13 inch kitchen knife over a joke about a skateboard where he can wheel himself straight down to jail now. I'm sensitive yet dangerous. And finally today, we've got a man who was kicked out of the gym for leering at women. But the plot twist is that he was actually blind. Ay, ay, ay. But I cannot see I'm legally blind. <laughs> right. Hold on, we're almost to the weekend. I'll see you back tomorrow. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you then.